Don't be discouraged. Don't just because it's a seller's market doesn't mean it's a bad market for buyers. It's not what we're saying. This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Interesting article out of the RJ. And it's interesting, it was written by our broker, Forrest Barbie, here at Berkshire Hathaway. He submitted this article to the RJ and they decided to publish it. And it's titled, Las Vegas Real Estate Poised to End 2021 with Record-Breaking Sales. Okay, we talked about this a little bit last week uh, in terms of the volume of homes. We merely need to do 2,449 single-family closings in December to, to break the record, the all-time record of number of single-family homes sold in a year. But November set a, a record high median price of 420. We, we saw that. We spoke about that a little bit last week. The previous high back during the peak was 300, 315,000. So it's substantially above that now. Forrest goes on to say, there are ways to navigate the market conditions. First of all, be optimistic and ignore the reference to a seller's market. He's talking about, look, buyers, don't be discouraged. And he's right. Don't be discouraged. Don't just because it's a seller's market doesn't mean it's a bad market for buyers. It's not what we're saying. What we're saying is, is that sellers are getting more now than they could have a year ago or two years ago. And that's a good thing. And the inventory is low. So there are there are advantages to being a seller, but but maybe not enough to offset the idea that you should still be buying. The absolute best thing a buyer can do is work with a real estate professional and lender to determine what is possible and viable financially. First, get your mortgage in place. If you're paying cash, great. But know this, if you're paying cash for a property here in Southern Nevada, it's common practice for a seller to ask the buyer to provide proof of that cash. We call it proof of funds. And it's not, no, you know, nobody really wants to get into your accounts and see your account. Then nobody, they just want to know that you have the money somewhere. Otherwise, if you're doing a mortgage, try to get fully approved prior to going out and seeking the home. And the reason I say that now, because it is competitive out there, you have a competitive advantage over other buyers who don't do that. He's also, he's projecting a little bit for 2022. He says that uh, resale closings will remain strong in 2022, despite a slight downturn in new listings. Prices should rise about 6%. This is his projections, about 6% other than, rather than the 20% we had this year. Interest rates could be a wild card and they should, uh, they rise much above three and a half percent. The projections we heard from most lenders is it's not gonna go much above that. It's gonna be somewhere in the threes next year, but. Interesting, John Ingram said last week, he thinks that next year will be land somewhere around three and a half by the end of the year. He thinks 2023 will only land in the fours, maybe. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. 